Hello students, today we're full of hot air. <laughs> what does that mean? Why am I talking about it? Uh, you may have heard me talk about hot air, using warmer air through your instrument. You may have um, done the exercise with me in the studio where we go up to the mirror and breathe against it. And we're gonna talk a little bit more in depth about that today. Uh, you may have also heard your band director say, hey, use more air, use more air. Uh, and what we're generally saying when we say use more air are two different things. And one of those things is using a warmer air from our bodies, opening up all the passageways to just create a nice, warm, beautiful sound with our instrument. Uh, so I'm going to guide you through some of these exercises that I do, uh, show you some other advantages that actually don't really have a lot to do with the playing necessarily. Alrighty, we'll get started. Alrighty, so the first thing that we're going to do, we're just going to take a nice deep breath in and just blow it out like that. Try a couple of those, breathe in. Now what I want you to really concentrate on is this part of your body right here. I want you to keep everything very, very open like you're trying to fog up a window. In fact, I have a glass right here that I'm going to try to fog up. Uh, so we're going to take a deep breath in. We're going to make everything very open. All of this is very open, like you're yawning. And hopefully you can see through the glass pretty well right now into the uh, poster that I have behind me. And hopefully if I do this right, we're going to see lots of fog right here to obscure that uh, the poster. So I'm going to take a deep breath in. Try this with me. Big breath in. And out. So you can see now it's less clear there. I fogged up that glass. I had to open up my throat real big and inside my mouth is almost like yawning. I have a very big open cavity all through this section of my body. Now, when we do that, we create a much warmer, beautiful sound out of our instrument. And so I'm encouraging you, you can use a glass like I did. You can, uh, mirrors are great for this because you can see right in the mirror or even a window you can kind of see what's happening and it's not so much about what's happening at the window it's more about concentrating on this part of your body so I'm gonna try that one more time let's see let's wipe that off we'll get a nice uh, clear view that looks pretty good now I'm gonna try that again I'm gonna breathe in I'm gonna open everything up real big and breathe on this glass and hopefully get a nice foggy condensation on there All right, looks like that what that turned out pretty well. Now, um, so we're gonna try this um, on a, our instruments, so you can pick whatever instrument you're playing up. We're not even gonna be playing today. We're just gonna kind of be breathing through it for the for the moment. Uh, and I'll get you started on some exercises I use to get warm air through my instrument. Okay, if you've ever seen me perform somewhere especially in a colder environment, you've probably seen me, if you've been watching me, I will just blow a hot, warm air, just like we just did, uh, through my instrument to actually warm the air up in the instrument before I play. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm not even gonna buzz my lips, I'm just gonna put my lips over the end of the mouthpiece and just try to warm up the instrument itself. And again, just trying to keep everything very open. I'm gonna do it my mouth. This is a very cold instrument today. I'm gonna to keep breathing some more air through there. One more time. Now this is a good exercise for my body awareness, just making sure I'm keeping everything open. But an additional benefit to doing this is that when the air in the instrument is cold, our instrument gets out of tune. So in a piece, if I'm on stage in a piece, I've been resting for a long period of time and it's kind of cold in the environment, I will breathe through the instrument first to warm up that air to make sure I'm in tune. It also makes the mouthpiece feel better, especially these metal mouthpieces can be very, very cold. So you want to have a nice warm air to start. Now, how do we apply this to our playing? 
And we're going to concentrate on low notes. So for high brass folks, we're going to play a low C. And for trombones, uh, bass clef folks, we're going to play a low B flat. We're just going to buzz our lips, try and commit, concentrate on having this very, very open. Oh. So again, just leaving this very, very open, very big um, uh, open cavity in the mouth, almost like you're yawning to create a nice, beautiful sound. If everything's tight, if I tighten everything up a little bit, let's see if, what kind of sound I get. I'll try one that's nice and warm, and I'll try one using more like, um, I'm going to call it cold air. It's not really cold, but it's not big, which is what we're looking for. So here's a nice big sound. <laughs> I'm going to try one. I'm going to tighten up a little bit. And hopefully the, the microphone will pick this up. But it won't be quite as big, big a sound. So I'm constricting everything. And it gives me that sort of fuzzy sound. Big sound. Now, a great way to, to use this exercise uh, is to start is to start with just low notes. It, it gets a little bit trickier as we get higher to keep that big, warm, beautiful sound. But I'm going to go through the fingerings and play, just play one of each. And you feel free to join me. If you're playing the horn or something different, you can pause and try the different fingerings on the way down. I'm going to try the second vowel. <laughs> being very still trying to concentrate on that the large cavity in my chest in my throat in my mouth all of that to get a good sound so try these exercises uh, on your own try just the breathing warm up the instrument try some nice beautiful low notes uh, keep the, the tone as big as you can by using your hot air all right be full of hot air just like me <laughs> all right guys